Rome, the eternal city, was the heart of an empire. But to sustain a million people, it needed a miracle of engineering. Early Romans relied on wells and the nearby Tiber. But as the city swelled, clean water became a desperate necessity. The solution arrived in 312 BC. The Aqua Appia, a revolutionary system to channel fresh spring water miles away, mostly underground for protection. Engineers faced a monumental task maintaining a minute downhill slope across vast, uneven terrain, relying on gravity alone. The network was massive. Miles of tunnels cut through solid rock, forming the unseen arteries of the system. Where valleys proved too deep, they built soaring, majestic stone arcades that stand as monuments to their ambition. From Spain to North Africa, the aqueducts became symbols of Roman power and civilization. The water, once captured, flowed continuously, protected by concrete channels and volcanic ash mortar. Upon arrival, the water filtered into distribution tanks ready to be channeled across the city. Most of this clean water wasn't for drinking, but for public amenities. The lavish baths, fountains, and latrines that defined Roman life. The oldest surviving aqueduct, the Aqua Virgo, built in 19 BC, still flows today, feeding Rome's famous fountains. Today, the arches stand as silent, towering monuments to the audacity, precision, and enduring legacy of Roman engineering. A testament to the power of a single idea, water is life, and civilization is built on its flow.